What up, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Now, like the title says, but before we get into it, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it does help my channel, you know what I mean? And share if possible, you know, because all of that does help me get into the algorithm. So I would appreciate it. And it's free, bro. So it ain't costing you nothing, you know, just to tap on that subscribe and, you know, comment and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Now, understand that in. Am I no way trying to justify or make excuses or none of that when I break down these kind of videos? People ask me for my opinions on these topics and I come and give my honest opinions and my point of views on the matters based on the information that I know and the knowledge that I have. You get what I'm saying? Um, so before you guys, you know, hear something you dislike and want to start, you know, leaving shit in the comments... Give the video a chance and listen to what I'm saying, you know what I mean? And then give your opinion. You get what I'm saying? Because I can't lie. I could only come in, you know, be honest right here. Tell it how it is, you know what I mean? And I'm not biased. Now, like the title says, are all murderers bad? Well, the real answer is no. I know a lot of people are going to be upset because of that. But let me explain. Not all murderers are bad because it depends on a lot of factors. When it comes to murder, it's a sensitive subject. And, you know, we're, we're dealing with, with somebody that has been pushed to, 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 to the point of taking another person's life. You feel me? Um, that plays a lot of roles. Now, when I mean push, I'm not saying that um, that they were, um, how can I say, that they were um, tempted into doing it or, or they were, the, the, they were, you know, pushed into it and not what I'm saying what I mean is that psychologically wise this individual felt the need to take this person's life you know what I mean um, I'm not saying that that person he himself um, you know overwhelmed you know the guy with you know negative emotions that he reacted to like that that's not what I'm saying um, I'm talking about the individual in his own life in, in his own little world you get what I'm saying now Here's why I say that not all murderers are bad. Because if you're an adolescent, right? If you're a juvenile and you commit murder, then that murder is different from when an adult commits murder. Because um, when you're a child, you know, your brain hasn't fully developed. Your brain doesn't stop fully developed until it's like about 20, 24, 25-ish, around, around that time. Um, that's why when people say that, um, you know, they matured, uh, you know, because... Um, how they act now is not how they acted like when they were you know younger or whatever uh, they came a long way well there's a reason why you know you feel that way and, and you say that is is it's not for the simple fact of saying it you know what i mean um that is the point of your life when your brain is fully developed and you're able to grasp certain scenarios and situations that's why the drinking age is a certain age and, and, and all of that you know what i mean um age does play a factor they don't just randomly guess these numbers and be like you know what uh, we're just gonna put the age, the drinking age at twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Good answer. No, there's research and studies and all of this behind um, all these matters, and and that's how they go based on uh, what age to put. You know, certain things. Um, and you know, if you look at it, certain countries, you know, don't go by the science, and their drinking ages are like you know different or whatever. And that's why their countries are are more chaotic. You know what I mean? Because they don't believe in the science. You know, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, but there's, you know, there's research behind all of this. Um, so when you're younger, you know, and somebody commits murder when he's an adolescent, you know, the adolescent's emotions, you know, he's dealing with a bunch of new emotions that he's not used to because of puberty. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's why they're so overdramatic and stuff like that. So they over-exaggerate about every little thing. Every little thing, they blow it up to, you know, to a magnitude of like a thousand you know, when it's not even that serious, but, you know, they take it that serious. Um, and, and and if he comes from a chaotic environment and stuff like that, it does create the recipe for him to potentially turn out to be um, not just a murderer, but a serial killer. You know, um, sad to say, um, you know, those are the, those, those are the facts. Um, you get what I mean? But not all of them, you know. So a, a person could be, you know, could do it out of fear, could commit murder out of fear. Uh, could commit murder because you know like I said you know he couldn't deal with all the emotions you know uh, it, it overwhelmed him you know because at that age you know your brain hasn't developed you know what I mean so you're not able to 
I know people don't understand, especially the ones that have lost loved ones to these kind of tragic events. Um, I mean, but the science doesn't lie. You know what I mean? Uh, he's just a child uh, as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when you're older, here's the difference, though. But when you're already an adult and you commit murder is different because your brain has already fully developed. So now you're able to grab and comprehend situations and scenarios. You know what I'm saying? And not when you're an adolescent where you can't deal with your emotions and stuff like that. You know, no, 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 no. Those are excuses now. You're able to deal with what you're going through. Um, now, if they're having a psychotic, you know, a psychotic episode or a psych, you know, they're stuck in psychosis. Um, you know, that in itself is already, you know, um, they're, they're mentally unstable, you know. So they're, you know, technically insane. You, you get what I'm saying? Um and then they charge that, you know, they charge, those charges are different than, than the average murder, you know what I mean? Uh, but when an individual is shown to be capable, right, like, uh, it's kind of like explaining law to individuals, you know? <laughs> okay, because there's a type of murder, there's the insanity one, right? And then there's, you know, the adolescent one, and then there's, you know, when, when you're an adult and, and you think you're smarter than everybody else, you, you, you really thought that you could get away with this stuff. Like, there's a difference from a guy... Hiding the dead body because he's scared, you know, he he, he he didn't mean to kill this person and he's, you know, he's hiding the body because he's scared compared to this person that's hiding the dead body because he feels that he can't get caught. He feels that he's smarter than everybody that he could dispose of this and nobody will be able to trace it to him. He really thinks he's above everyone. You see, the, there's those are those are two different things and they play a big factor. Another thing that plays a factor in murder is how did they kill this individual? You know, did they give him a strike in the head and the person fell and he died? Uh, did he just shoot him once? Or did he stab him 60 times, chop that fool's body up and then burned it and then ate cereal after? You get what I mean? There's levels to this. You know what I mean? There's levels on, you know, how an individual kills somebody is going to tell you a lot about that individual. You know what I mean? It's going to tell you if he's able to be rehabilitated or not. You know what I'm saying? And sad to well, not sad to say, but the individuals that are already in their adults. And, you know, they kill these individuals in the most heinous ways possible. And do it. Yeah, that point, that person, you know, he shouldn't even be mad that, oh, they don't give me parole. And no, 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 no. Those individuals, they can't be helped. Um, now, I'm not saying that everyone, like, you do reach a point in your life where, you're, you, you know, you can't be helped. You know what I mean? But research has shown that nine times out of ten, you can't. You know, sadly, you can't. Uh, but I said nine times out of ten because there is those rare occasions. You know, that's why I didn't say the full ten. Uh, but nine times out of ten, you, you can't rehabilitate those individuals, you know, that commit murder in their later stages of their life. You know, you, you just can't. Uh, it won't, you know, once it brings program already like that, you can't teach a whole dog new tricks. You know what I'm saying? Um they're just stuck in their behaviors and their ways. I'm pretty sure people have seen it. You know, older people are stubborn. You know, they're stuck in their ways. Yeah, there's a reason for that. You know, once you build your character already at, you know, at the age that it reaches, it's pretty it's pretty hard to unwind the person's character. That's why I say raise these kids better because it does get to a point where the character already starts to set itself. And, and once you want to finally help the child or once you see him as an adult and you see him fucking up, I mean, bro... You don't want to help him when he was young, you know what I mean? Um, how, can, how how does the saying go? Um, if you teach the child, then you don't have to. Then you won't have to punish the man. You get what I mean? It's a really good. It's a really good uh, um, quote that I like. You know what I mean? Um, it, because that's real talk. Because if you raise these individuals, you know, to be, you know. You know, proper, you know, individuals You won't have to worry about them, you know Doing stupid shit when they're adults You get what I mean? Um, when you see them doing stupid shit when they're adults It's because they w they weren't properly, you know Shown the right way when they were children um, Those are the facts You can hate it or love it No, it's not my fault, he didn't want to listen and So I'm sorry to say No, the science shows different it Shows otherwise I know, I know it's hard to look in the mirror. I know it's hard to, to you know, to, to accept your errors. I understand. But that's what's, what it is to be an adult. You have to accept your errors. You have to understand that, yeah, us as adults, we didn't make the best choices, you know, 
we were you know hard-headed when we were younger and stuff like that yeah you know you got to take responsibility for that yeah no 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 doubt about that but then they have to also take responsibility of not being there you know and being stuck in their own little world too you know what i mean i get it that those are people's you know parents and stuff like that and, and you know you don't always want to blame your parents um you know and i'm not saying that they did it intentionally but could it possibly be that your parents weren't you know the best of parents you know even if they were working you know hard you know two jobs or whatever that's neglection bro you know sometimes you got to choose what's more important your your you know your financial status or your child you know i get it the world pushes um people to to have this mentality that money is everything and you must choose money above everything no no that's not true you must choose family over everything bro especially your children you know, don't don't fall into this web of madness that the world has created for itself. Because obviously, um, you know, the people in high places want individuals to have this mentality because they're gonna go out there and spend, and that spending money goes directly to their pockets, homie. Of course, they're gonna spin the media, uh, music, uh, pop culture, uh, TV, movie, and every for everyone to have this mentality. You know, to want to be big ballers and buying big things and everything. Yeah, because they're gonna get paid. Of course they're going to want to raise these individuals to be like that. That's why you see all these idiots doing smashing grabs and everything. Because everybody wants to be on Instagram flossing. Because they see everyone else flossing that everybody wants to do it now. Even if they can't afford it. So since they don't want to be let down. They want to feel a part of the crowd and everything. They go do all these stupid shit just to try to fit in. It's ridiculous. Sad what the world's willing to do for money. But that's a, that's a <laughs> that in itself is a different topic. You know, I don't want to steer, steer off course. So... There's different mentalities to this, right? So there's different levels to it. You know, how did this person kill this individual? At what age? Because all of that plays a factor. I know people don't want to see it. No, murder is murder. It's all the same shit. No, it's not. Unless you study psychology and you know how the brain works and everything like that, then you don't get to say that what you're saying is facts, my boy, if you don't understand the, the science behind it. Now, it's different if you, you have the knowledge, you research, you, you know what I mean? You go to school or you, or you research yourself or whatever, you know, or if you have some understanding, right? And then you still see it that way. Then, you know, we could debate about it and, and et cetera. Uh, but when you just have no knowledge and you just say, nope, nope, because nope, that's nope, no one has a... <laughs> um, obviously, in general, as a whole, it's a bad thing. Um, the person still has to go to jail, obviously, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, well, he, it's because he's young, we, we slap in the wrist, no, he's already behaving, he's already displaying bad behaviors, uh, you know, he, you know, obviously they must be incarcerated and they must be rehabilitated, but when they're younger, I'm saying that they're, they could be rehabilitated, there's a, they could be, you know what I mean? Especially it, it, the younger they are, the more chances they are, they could be re rehabilitated. Um, you, you get what I'm saying? Um, so they can be helped when they're juveniles. When they're adults, it's really, really hard to. It's really, really hard to. You know what I mean? People like that tend to be sociopaths or psychopaths. And they're just going to tell you what you, what they think that you want to hear. And, they, they're, you know, they're very, you know, they're very wicked people. You know what I'm saying? Um, dealing with a sociopath and a psychopath, um, I have interviewed, you know, you know, people like that for my course. Um, you know, these individuals are, the way they think is very, is very, very scary. You know what I mean? It's very trippy. Not scary like as in you fear the individual, but it's like a twisted, you know, it's a twisted way of looking at life. And, and to think that any individual out there in the world is capable of this because we are all capable of this. You know what I mean? Uh, yin and yang, the perfect balance, right? Of good and evil. Everyone has a little bit of good in them and everyone has a little bit of bad in them. Those are facts. You know what I mean? Um, it's just being able to control your emotions, you know, um, that separates individuals. You know, that's why people don't like, you know, believing in the science and everything like that. You know, they rather believe that people are born this way or it's because of the devil and stuff like that because they're scared of the fact that they potentially could become these type of individuals. You know what I mean? To think that you could, that you're capable of these kind of heinous acts is, you know, it, you know, it's, it's to get anybody, you know, thinking like, what the fuck, you know? Uh, because these these individuals do exist, and they are amongst us. Um, it's 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 crazy, you know what I mean? So I say, watch who you leave your kids with, and watch who you you know you put your trust in, because there's a lot of there's a lot of twisted individuals in this world. 
um, because the, like I said, the brain is a very sensitive thing. If you don't raise these kids good and you put them in these scenarios where they suffer, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, traumatic, you know, event or, you know, they get stuck in, stuck in psychosis, you know, um, and, and they, you know, looking back after that, you know, um, look at all the serial killers, look at their childhood, you know, um, that led them into the life that they, you know, look at each and every serial killer. Look how his, look how his parents treated him. Ain't no wonder why he turned out to be the individual he turned out to be. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how you could raise a kid to be a killer because it's true. They're not born this way. They're, they're, they're made that way. You know what I mean? Just like racism. Racism is taught. They're not born with it. They're taught that shit. Bro, that's 100. You get what I mean? Um, all these behaviors are taught. You know, because people don't want to accept their errors or see how their viewing life is wrong. Therefore, they keep going about it like if it's nothing. And the, their children are the ones that are paying the price. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, so my personal opinion is that no, they're not all bad. You know, it depends how they kill the individual, at what age. And all of this plays a factor because it's because of those facts. It's true. Real shit. Um, but that's just my opinion. Go ahead and leave your guys' opinion in the comments. If Shadow, we out.